Well, I get a 632. Why not? Morning. It's time for coffee. We I haven't had coffee in like two days, which is gonna be exciting. To have, there's actually a Starbucks on board the ship, which is kind of crazy. I'm gonna just today, a couple things. One, Karis and I are gonna go get a shawarma because I need to get two. Brian and I are gonna go get a shawarma, I think, as well. I think there's gonna be two shawarmas in my life today, two different shawarmas, because you gotta load up while you have the opportunity. And three, I think I'm gonna talk a little bit just about little random things about, I don't know, ship life stuff. We'll figure it out, but I gotta go meet somebody for coffee now down the street, a whole like 10 feet. <laughs> You know, that's not fabricated at all. We totally cheers coffee around here. All right, first things first. If I'm gonna go find a shawarma, I need to exchange my American cash, thank you, Grandma, for some Sifa. Sifa, Central African, I don't remember what it said, Franks, Central African Franks. I don't even know what the exchange rate is, but thankfully there's a bank on board. They take dollars and euros and then they'll give you local currency. Generally make exchanges like that. I can't use American dollars in France, but I can use them on the ship or in town. The reason that I'm hesitating is because I'm trying to get all the quarters out of my pocket. They gave me like, a stack of quarters earlier too. So now that I'm set, it's time to go do that. Then we got we got to grab Karis. I need sunglasses. Just making sure I have them. Right, let's let's go get a shawarma. Karen, how much is this in U.S. dollars? It's thirty dollars and six cents. And how much is it in Sifa? Sixteen hundred. Sixteen hundred. Sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. I have sixteen thousand Sifa. I'm rich. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Appreciate yeah. it. So. All right, Karis and I are on our way to try and find a shawarma, which is really exciting. So the nice thing about being here, but from what I understand, is that the Lebanese, basically you can find Lebanese food anywhere in the world, but it varies depending on the people that you're around. So like in Europe, depending on which country you're in, the shawarmas are different and not always very good. Some of them are really, really good. I found a couple of really good ones, but that's true in the States as well. I haven't found very many good shawarmas, but in Western Central Africa is where I found the best shawarmas. It's the best. And according to my Lebanese friends, they are straight up the same as you would find in Lebanon. Generally, the style is the same. So that is our goal is to go find a good one. That is like the real reason I came to Mercy Ships was just for the shawarmas. Wow, that's, I'm glad you've been honest with that. Yeah, and then secondarily was Karis. But first, <laughs> first, you. yeah, first and foremost, it's like shawarma. Shawarma, are you sure? No, stop. Yeah, so here we go. This has been, ah. Uh, Slippery. Karis is vlogging as well. Karis, I will link to her YouTube channel below and probably put up a card that might actually pop up over her face if I time it right. We're going to go try and find a shawarma. She hasn't actually found her shawarma yet. And like what I've found in every country is like there is the shawarma. I don't think we're gonna find it today, but we can try. And she really wants a chicken shawarma, which is my favorite kind of shawarma as well. So yeah. give that a go. Now, the, in my opinion, what makes a shawarma is the aioli more than anything. And you want like the mayonnaise type of aioli. There's like a couple different types. Like there's a watery type and kind of this weird floofy type, but like the mayonnaise type. I Please forgive me for being so ignorant to what the actual culinary terms for this are. But what I would actually want out of this would be the mayonnaise kind with fries in it. Yes. Would be ideal. The fries can't be dry. A pickle in it is actually, I'm actually okay with that now. I used to hate that, but I'm good with that now. As long as it's panini really well, like, you know, like kind of grilled in. And that's yeah, really, that's what we're looking for. Yeah. And then I'm set. That was a very quick walk out of the port. So other countries that we've lived in, like Congo, you had to walk almost two miles to get out of the port. No, but it still felt like it. So that was amazingly quick. So now the goal is to get a taxi. And then if you want to see what the strategy is for finding the shawarma, we've discussed it but it'll be on Karis's vlog, so go check that out. I just want to shawarma now, so we're just gonna fast forward to whatever heck comes next. So we just asked if he knew a, a Lebanese market, and does he know one? We'll find out, we're gonna find out soon. Uh, yeah. Which doesn't make sense. <laughs> He brought us directly to this bar, which we already know about, and I'm gonna be coming here with Brian later. <laughs> Karis and I want, and we wanna find something new. So we've explained that to the taxi driver now, and he's like, he's on it. 
so we're going to the new place. A little backstory on Karis too. I know Karis because when I first moved on the ship, she was still in high school on the ship. Just a wee baby. She was one of the ship kids, and we would <laughs> hang out and play. And I think I have footage somewhere of us rolling on the floor in midships during the sail, really? that first sail. Are you yeah, serious? yeah. Got to find that. But then she went to Whitworth in Spokane, so there's a lot of connection there as well with Hannah Palmer, another kid from the ship. And now they're both like fully grown adults and living their lives out in the world and <laughs> brings a tear to my eye to see how far they've come. But anyways, now we're going to find a shawarma together. I didn't give you any <laughs> any context for how I knew Karis, but now you know. Yeah. She pretty much, you grew up entirely on the ship, didn't you? Yes. Between the Anastasis and the Africa Mercy? 18 years. Like, long time, long time. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I thought I'd ask at a supermarket if they knew. Goodies? Vous connaissez goodies? Okay, so our taxi driver has no idea. He just took us to a French restaurant. So I thought I would ask at the supermarket, and they knew a good one. And they're very, very nice. And so that's what one of the tricks of the trade, of course, this is something that you should probably know, is that depending on the culture that you're in, in Central and West Africa, I don't know how it works because I don't know Cameroon yet. But sometimes when you ask somebody for directions or for advice, like, hey, where do I find such and such? If they don't know, they won't tell you. They'll just be like, oh, sure. And they'll just kind of go with it. So true. Because they don't want to let you down. They don't want to disappoint you. And for them, it'd be more awkward to tell you they don't know. Mm -hmm. So they go with it. If you sense that they, they know or they don't know, one of the, there are a couple tricks. One is to ask somebody else to verify the information that you're being given. The other thing is actually to ask the person, hey, can you ask your friend over there if he knows where to find such and such? That way, if they know, they'll just tell you straight up. And if they don't know, uh, they will go and they'll ask that other person and then that person will hopefully know. But they'll feel okay saying that person doesn't know. And then you know, neither of them know. And then you can work together to find somebody who does know. We didn't really do that today. So we've been driving around for a little bit of extra time waiting to find somebody who we can ask. Which we did. Having quality time. We're having quality time, yay. Oh yes. It is quality time. I love driving around like this. It's the best. Exploring the city a little bit. This is, this is a, a good sized city too. Yeah, it's one of the bigger and more cities I've been in. Yeah. Okay, we found the place. Now we need to eat at the place. That's this is the best part. It smells promising. It smells very promising. So, what is the name of this place again? C'est quoi le nom de ce endroit encore? C'est ah goodies. Ah goodies en anglais. And goodies center. We're at the goodies center. Double vlogging. We walked, we walked, there's apparently a patisserie and a market. Oh yeah, King Tut. This is their main, their main dish because Cameroon oh, yeah? comes from like Sea of Shrimp. Or oh really? Like that. Yeah, because the river we're on the Wari River, when Portuguese explorers found it, they found giant prawns in it, so they named the place Cameroon, which comes from a Portuguese word, which I'm forgetting, but it apparently means river of shrimp. <laughs> Cameroon. Wow. I don't know, Spanish or Portuguese. Better, better lesson than I would have been able hey, to give. that's interesting. We learned something together. It's not super garlicky, but it's there. I think the fries are gonna be more to your liking. I would kind of hope that the fries would be a little bit crunchier, honestly. A seven, seven out of ten? Alright, so you give it a C. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. She gives it a C, I give it a B. I know. I'm gonna down. I'm gonna say B. I'm gonna give mine a B. Okay. As we get into this, I just, they basically just shoved a potato in here, <laughs> and there's not very much aioli at all. So I'm gonna have to downgrade this again. Like I, I was giving it a nice high bar to start because I was hoping you're right. It's like seven. It's like a C, but it's still tasty. It's still. It's just not what I'm looking for. Not what I was hoping for. Opinion. Seven. It's down to seven. <laughs> <laughs> Yours, yours looks like carnage. Mine's looking a little bit. Like it wasn't. It wasn't unpleasant. It was tasty. If you've never had a shawarma before, I think you would like yeah, it. Yeah, it's the expectation problem. Yeah, we. I've had really good shawarma. Yeah, we have very high expectations. Well, very high hopes. We'll try shawarma number two here in a few hours. Well, I will at least, and I'll let you know how it is. This one, I would eat this again for sure. But I, I would hope that there's a better one in town. Face on the water bottle. 
I haven't. Even, that's the. I haven't even shown anybody that that exists yet. That's what you could have. I, this could be yours. That could be yours. There are gonna be a couple of those you're gonna see while we're here. I'm just. I'm just happy that you put that on your water bottle. Look how many, yeah, it goes with it. It's the best one though. That is. It does I did stand put out. It over Mercy ship. Yes. That's a score. In summary. In summary, <laughs> the shawarma was meh, but like not bad. Yeah. I've had bad shawarmas. Solid okay. It was an okay. Like it wasn't too dry. It didn't have a uh, chew or cabbage in it. Like it did taste somewhat garlicky, but that was the thing. It didn't have a good garlic aioli. The fries were soggy. It was like a, it was like a, a full potato in there. Yeah, it was just like having a baked potato in your yeah. shawarma, which is yeah. not really what you're going for. So overall, try it. If you are ever in Douala, give it a try. Maybe you'll get a better one than we got. Maybe today just ran out of aioli. Maybe you can order with extra aioli, actually. You can probably order with yeah. extra aioli. Yeah, I think that would have made it a lot better. That would have made so. it much better. So anyways, that's, that's shawarma number one. We'll try shawarma number two. Well, I'll try shawarma number two shortly. Needle gunning is something they do when painting the ship. It's one of the less pleasant aspects of living on the ship, especially if they're doing it when you're trying to sleep in. Which happens, it's just part of ship life. Anyways, I, I told you I'd throw in little tidbits about ship life as we go. That's That was too good to let go. That, I couldn't let that pass. Brian and I have been talking shop. You'll know Brian from very early on in the vlog in the States, but uh, where else have you been in my vlog? In your vlog? Just in Spokane or anywhere uh, else? Spokane, Paris. Yeah, I've been in, the, yeah, in Paris. I think so. I don't know. Mm. Brian's been around for a long time. We're good friends, but we also ran a, a company very briefly together. Very, if we can even say that. We we flopped a project together, but we, uh, we've we been talking shop because he's going to be doing, he's going to be doing a lot more YouTubing soon from the sea, which will be really exciting. And now we're off to attempt number two for shawarma. Keep talking shop, you know, catching up and uh, shawarma it up. That's the real goal. Okay, so Brian, we're at the, that's, where's the spar? Where's the spar? It's yeah. just outside the port. Well, but no, where is it right now? Is this it? Like, this yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this whole thing this is whole it? This whole thing is the spar, the oh. bottom floor. Okay, so we're gonna try the shawarma at the spar, which sounds terrible to me from, like, just because spar to me is like a convenience store. Well, the, the shawarma's not in the spar. Oh, it's, thank it's, God. It's the grocery store. The shawarma's outside. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I was like, everybody keeps talking about the shawarma and the spar. I'm like, well, uh, that doesn't sound good, but let's try it. Oh, this stand here? Yep. Perfect. Attempt number two, shawarma outside the spar. Not bad for a, like a light beer. I'm not usually a light beer drinker, but this is the, uh, the Kaji beer. Kaji beer definitely has like a metallic aftertaste, but otherwise that could just be the wrapping, honestly. <laughs> it's really good actually. It's not a shawarma, and yet a shawarma. Okay, we'll talk about this in a second. <clears throat> shawarma says, we're getting another one for his wife, uh, so we're waiting for that. Overall, honestly, the other one was a more proper shawarma, even though it was disappointing. This one was a way better shawarma. It's good. We got some spice. What was the kind of chili? What kind of chili was that? Yeah. We got whatever the Cameroonian spice of choice was, which was very good. The sauce, it was great. It was very like, it was really saucy. The meat was fine. There were fries in it, and it was well grilled. Tasty, honestly, I would take this, and it was cheaper, significantly cheaper as well. I would take this over the one we had earlier any day. This is a common dinner for us on the ship. Yeah, when we don't like what's being served, come here. Come here. Yeah, this the spar, the spar shawarma, not a Lebanese shawarma at all, but still a better shawarma. Yeah. 